welcome back to another video. Today's synthesis is going to be of trisethylenediamine cobalt-3 chloride. It's a nice orange-yellow solid, which you can see in this dram vial. It's a fairly straightforward synthesis, and it only requires a few ingredients. The first reagent we'll need is anhydrous ethylenediamine. I've got 9 milliliters measured out and I'm going to be adding this to 25 milliliters of pre-chilled distilled water. Ethylene diamine tends to fume in air, so do keep this in mind. Next, we're going to need 8.5 milliliters of 6 molar hydrochloric acid. Next, we're going to need 12 grams of cobalt 2 chloride hexahydrate. This will be dissolved in 35 milliliters of room temperature distilled water. Finally, we will also need 10 milliliters of 30% hydrogen peroxide. This has been pre-cooled. This synthesis involves acid, ethylene diamine, cobalt salts, and hydrogen peroxide. So, obviously, you're going to need some gloves. First, I'm going to take a 250 milliliter beaker and add a stir bar. Now, I'm going to add the 12 grams of cobalt 2 chloride hexahydrate. This is then followed by 35 milliliters of room temperature distilled water. The cobalt salt will dissolve shortly with stirring. While the cobalt chloride is dissolving, I have put on a separate stir plate a 100 milliliter beaker complete with stir bar. To this beaker, I'm going to add the 25 milliliters of chilled distilled water. I should note that I'm not going to add all of it. After I add the anhydrous ethylene diamine, I'm going to wash out the graduated cylinder that it is in with the remaining 5 milliliters of distilled water. This is to prevent any mechanical loss. Now I'm going to add the anhydrous ethylene diamine. This is stirred and the ethylene diamine should go into solution. The graduated cylinder that the ethylene diamine was in is now washed with the distilled water, like I mentioned before. This is added to the rest of the solution. Now I'm going to put this in an ice bath to cool down. Once the ethylene diamine solution is nice and cool, with stirring I'm now going to add the 6 molar hydrochloric acid. This will only partially neutralize the ethylene diamine, which is what we want. With stirring, the ethylene diamine solution is now added to the cobalt-2 chloride solution. Now I'm going to very slowly add the 30% hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to add it dropwise because if you add it too quickly then the reaction can run away and it might boil over, which isn't something you want, trust me.
The hydrogen peroxide will oxidize any cobalt-2 to cobalt-3, forming our complex in solution. Once all the peroxide has been added, the solution should be stirred until effervescence ceases. to bring this mixture to a light boil and evaporate it down to 60 milliliters. Now that the volume has been reduced, I'm going to take it off heat and allow it to cool to near room temperature. So it's been a little bit longer than I really need to leave it for, and you can see that there's a lot of crystals that have formed already. Now what I'm going to do is add an equal amount of concentrated hydrochloric acid to this, and then 120 milliliters of ethanol. Initially, I will need more eventually to wash away all of the residual hydrochloric acid, as I do believe that decomposes the product on drying. First up, the hydrochloric acid. It doesn't seem like it's going to want to stir, so let me give it some help. There we go. Now, the ethanol. Now that the ethanol has been added, I'm going to filter it. So here's the product after recrystallizing from hot water. It's a very nice sort of dark orange solid, which very surprisingly looks exactly the same on camera as it does to my eyes in real life, which is kind of unusual. Most of the things I make look different, you know, in one way or another um, on camera as opposed to how they look in real life. So this is interesting, I guess. Quite a successful synthesis. Uh, I haven't had this synthesis fail once. Uh, it's been successful pretty much every time and has been really interesting and pretty beautiful. I found some really nice oranges out of this. Uh, apparently you can make a complex which is, if I remember correctly, um, tris ethylene diamine cobalt 3 tris oxalato cobaltate. So it is the oxalato cobaltate salt of ethylene diamine cobalt 3. But I can't get the uh, oxalated cobaltate synthesis to work, so 
who knows I might do that in the future apparently it's supposed to be a really nice green beautiful green color but for now I'm afraid it doesn't want to work so with that being said this was the synthesis of Tris ethylene diamine cobalt 3 chloride I really hope you enjoyed you can like if you want to subscribe if you want to and thank you so very much for watching I'll see you all next time as always huge thank you to my patreon supporters I can't do videos like this without their support and honestly, they're the only reason I can really keep doing most of this stuff. So, thank you.